Hello, hello. Uh, spicy video today. We just got the talents for survival and beastmaster and mm every hunter spec has been reworked if you haven't not seen and they've released the talent the first build of it so i'm gonna today i'm gonna take a look of the survival hunter tree and i will be talking mainly about m plus but maybe sneak in some like this this is raid this is m plus you know showing the difference basically and share my opinions <laughs> And I will be comparing it, of course, to this current version that we have. Um, I'm running the no CD build here, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. I haven't I haven't looked into it at all, so this is my raw non. I haven't. I'm not spoiled or anything. I just heard it's changed. So we'll start right away. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the class tree. The general tree and then we're going to spec tree afterwards and i'm assuming that we're still gonna play sentinel and if you haven't if you don't know what's happening during in the sentinel um then i suggest you go check that out i believe i have a video on it somewhere uh link up here somewhere maybe coming and uh, there i'm going into more detail of uh, everything that is within sentinel which i believe is going to be our go-to hero talent for the war within but now we're talking about the uh, class tree so first off of course i want post haste and i want okay it's not every turn focus i think we have that already right i'm gonna be yeah, so they have switched this one up to there. Exciting. And yes, we still want all of these starting trees, of course. Uh, and I believe, ooh. But do we have that? We don't, right? No, yeah, we have, yeah. Okay, they made that one much more accessible, which is nice. Uh, we want the improved kill shot. In M+, plus, I don't care about con concussive shot, so I will not go there. I do want trank shot, of course. Uh, tar trap. I guess. I guess. Let's see here first. Maximum health increased by 8% and acceleration also heals you for an additional 20%. Yes. We'll go with that one. Noting, note here also that I, I've heard this from a lot of stuff. It's not only hunters. They've switched to a lot of things that are should, used to be two talent points are now one. So for example, natural mending, we had that in two. And also reju rejuvenating wins is also now a one talent point. And this, I believe, is a huge thing for the overall, like you... It's easier to access more, more stuff, basically. But I think I'm going to go with the Tar Trap. It's always nice to have in some weeks, since we're talking M+. Uh, and Man Pet is from this 25. And has a 25% chance to dispel a magic effect each time it heals your pet. Does it mean the spell magic effect on the target or the pet? I don't know. I think I'm gonna skip this one. Survival of fittest. Perfect. We're gonna use that one. This is a classic one. Ooh, another charge of survival of the fittest. That is huge. Scare beast. I don't need. Uh, when tar trap is activated, all enemies in it are rooted. No, I don't need that. Muscle. Interesting that they have this one here. So we have a melee interrupt here, but do we have the ranged one also somewhere? Or is this only because it's... Let me actually check that. Go ahead. 
I want to see the difference here. Like if that was, let's say, if we go Sentinel and oh, okay, it's it's the same. It's just that the interrupt is there because here is counter shot, and for us it was muscle because we're playing survival, and that of course we want. Mm, trank, trank shot, tranquilizing. <laughs> Missed spell that one. Tranquilizing shot removes up to one additional magic effect. Could be good. Or if tranquilizing shot removes only an enrage effect, its cooldown is reduced by five. So this could be huge for enraging. Since yeah, you could basically dispel a lot of enraging then. Of course, we want misdirection. Uh, I don't know. I'm saving this one. I don't know if I, it's worth to spend the points. But for now, reduce the cooldown of survival to fittest and increase the duration. Reduce the cooldown of counter shot and muscle back. Oh, that's good. I think we have this one, right? No, we don't. Okay. <clears throat> what? The what? <laughs> Wild, what? They have this here? Dude, I, I have to check some more with. I have to keep this up all times because. What's the damage for this one? Aim shot. So they have like a just. Yeah, they have way more like spec specific stuff on the left tree also, which is interesting. I mean, this one is huge. 10% damage on your bombs. Of course, we want that. And uh, destructive rounds, I mean, I think it's always going to be good, right? Although we're not using it, but... Uh, the, hmm. No. I don't really want any of these two, so I'm thinking maybe just go this one to access the binding shot, which we need. I think I will go this one and the explosive shot we want and the stun we want, of course. Binding shot, yes. Let's see here. Uh, we have two, it's either the steel trap or the high explosive trap, but the high, high explosive trap is, it's not doing damage, right? It's knocking everyone away, yeah. Mobilizing causes them to bleed. Interesting that they have this one here because explosive trap is where is it? It's, there is steel trap, but explosive trap is like somewhere. No, is it even for survival? Maybe it isn't. Interesting. Uh, could be good. I mean. To have access to binding and explosive could be a combo, then you have an AoE stun, basically guaranteed. I can, <laughs> but I can see that people or tanks specifically don't like us to use explosive traps. Unless there is a talent later on that knocks them up. Whoa. That is good. But it's only for me, so. Hmm. I'm going ahead. Here we can have bursting shot and bolts are left, knocking them back. Interesting. Or we have the scatter shot. I don't know if we need any of these yet. But that would definitely be the better choice than explosive trap. So I would definitely just take bursting shot and combine it with binding. I guess you could. Okay. We need this one, of course, to. Two points into that. You and your pet have increased attack speed. This effect is increased by 100% if you do not have an active pet. Interesting. That's huge for MM, right? So it's 25%. Dude, what? Okay. But yeah, we want that. I think it's still good for survival. <clears throat> This is interesting. Now we have a little bit more AoE. We can stun two more targets. I want that. And casting bombs reduce the cooldown. Yo, I want that. 
I don't know if I need this one. The, the main thing usually is that you need the stun and not the duration. So having a three second and then four second, yeah, maybe, but mm. interesting. We have so many dude, for PvP. And just side note, for PvP we have so much stuff now. Like what? Uh, but I want the camouflage and target rooted by binding shot, knocked back by high explosive shot, and capacitated by scatter shot or stunned by tin. I mean, it's for me though. But I guess yes. Because we want to access when a trap triggers, you gain. No, I don't know, I need that. I want that one. I'm wondering. I think I'm gonna go with the standard trail bracer now, so. Another PvP one. Stealth enemies revealed by flare remain revealed. That's fine. I guess I could use the Pathfinder just because. How much do I have spent? 26 of 31, so I have not so many left, but I want this one. Then, of course, we want Death Chakram, and that's a good also. Your damage over time effects deal 10, and that includes all the bombs, I'm pretty sure. So we want that. And Fang Death, an aspect of the turtle, removes poison and disease effects from you. Makes ooh, I think I want to go there unless there's something big. I mean, I want this one, ser serrated tips, but this one I don't need. Moment of opportunity. You take twenty percent reduced damage while camouflage is active. This effect per sec to three seconds after you have leave camouflage. <sighs> Again, this is a PvP war, <laughs> because you can't camouflage in combat, so... Uh, well, maybe you can, actually. I don't know how the... Let me see now. Can you just feign death and then do... Because if you can do that combat, then that one is good. I've never actually tried that, uh, because I, we never use it, but... Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, I don't know. If that is a thing, then of course, maybe we would want this one. Because that is another defensive for us, basically. But the cooldown of Tar Trap, Steel Trap, High Explosive Trap and Freezing Trap is reduced. Again, I don't really need that, and I have one more. So, I'm gonna go with this one, I believe. So, there you have my... And... Note, I'm not a fear crafter, by any means. This is... I'm probably gonna see some differentials from what the meta build is gonna be. But this sounds like a good M plus build. I have most of the stuff. I could maybe switch up some, like, scare beast. We use it rarely, because you can scare beast the... In Corporal, so maybe one once a week you want that, maybe then you can just remove Pathfinding and go there. But overall, I don't really think it's needed to have like Bursting Shot and High Explosive. Well, they are good, they are the bad CC, I would say, because it you know, knocks them so far even. Uh, maybe Bursting Shot will be a thing, but I don't believe... High explosive trap would be a thing, like combined with binding shackles and stuff like that. But I mean, we have still the death chakram, and this one is very good. That's basically not only the serpent sting, it's the different bombs as well. We have access to explosive shot, we have stuns. Another charge of this one is pretty huge. This one also, maybe we use. I mean, you can definitely remove pathfinding to go this one. Instruct your pet to protect the friendly target from the critical strike, making them attack. attacks against that target unable to be critical strikes. 
Uh, but ten percent of all damage taken by that target is also taken by the pet. Again, this used to be a, uh, or it is right now, it is a PvP talent, I believe. Isn't it? Roar of sacrifice. Maybe uh, maybe not for uh, survival. But it, I think it is for BM or something like that. So it's interesting that they're bringing it more into... Because we still have PvP talent, so... Uh, I don't know. But let's go to the spec tree, which I'm most curious about. So here we actually get kill command as, a, as our first one. Instead of having it as we have now, where kill command is over there, we have it now in here. So I guess oh, there is Raptor Strike. So we want all this one and Gorilla Tactics already. I mean, that's pretty good. Tip of the Spear, of course, we want that. And now I can, oh, I can, I can already see where this is going. This, this half is going to be mainly single target oriented, but this one will be more AOE and M plus. So, <clears throat> which is good. I think. So, for example, here, Mongoose Bite. I, I don't know if they've switched, uh, changed coordinated assault anything. Uh, but it seems like they still have the um, kill shot can be empowered and the bombs can. But I'm actually gonna go for a no. I'm gonna skip this one, I, I think. I'm gonna see how it looks, but... Uh, Maybe not going into here, so then I would definitely take Mongoose Bite, since it's worth with the points. Um, then Flanker's Advantage. Kill Command has an additional 10% 10 10 chance to immediately reset its cooldown, and increased by 100% when Kill Command kit critically stri strikes the target. Tip of the spear's damage bonus is increased up to 100% based on your crit. Oh, yo, that last part is huge for a single target. We don't have that now, right? We have the tip of the spear, but interesting. All right, we will definitely go there. Quick shot when kill command. Re Cooldown is reset. You have a 30% chance to find an arcane shot at your target. That's whatever. And this we do we have that? That's an interesting one. Wait, wait, are we getting dual wield? Because why are they having a talent that auto attacks with two ended weapons reduce the cooldown of wildfire bombs? Why do you have to imply that it's a two-handed weapon? Ooh, <laughs> interesting. But I will take it. I will take it. I don't. Uh, we'll see how many points we have left. But then, uh, since I'm going mongoose, I can reach butchery from here. So I'm gonna go there, and then Francis strike. Of course, this is the same here. You go butchery here, and then you have Francis strike there. But then. This one, of course, that's a no-brainer. Wildfire Infusion, Mongoose Bite, and Raptor Strike have a 15% chance to reset Kill Command's cooldown. Yes, we'll take that, I believe, right? We, we're still going with that. Oh, they wait. They switched around that one. Wildfire Infusion used to be this one, where you have the laser... Wait, so we s wait, we're only having this one now. Mm, okay, I don't want that. Wildfire bomb deals in 5% increased damage and has a 25. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wait, what? Yo. What is this style? This is huge. Welfare Bomb deals 5% increased damage and has a 25% chance to reset the colon of explosive shot. So this one, and this one is huge. Like this, it does have damage. 
And on top of that, in the same talent, we get explosive shot reduce the colon of wildfire bombs by four seconds. So you explosive shows them, boom, you have more bombs immediately. Like, that's a free bomb, right? Wait, 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 wait. Do you see what I see? 18 seconds recharge. Now it's 14. Maybe it is. Oh, okay. I was worried I was, it was way lower than we are now. But okay. Interesting. This one for sure. Um, Let's see here. Every free quick shot. Okay, never mind. We will definitely go quick shot because you have every free quick shot is replaced by an explosive shot. Of course we're taking that. Dude, there's so many big... Oh, dude, I basically want this whole talent tree. <clears throat> Kill shot, serpent sting, arcane shot, steady shot, and explosive... Yes, we want that. Damage of flanking strike increased by 5% and all damage dealt by wildfire bombs increased by 5%. Yes, and I kind of want flanking strike also. Your flanking strikes exposes a weakness in your enemy defenses, increasing the damage of kill command by 10% and causes your kill command to, to hit two additional targets. Okay. I want that. Dude, I'm just clicking right now. I feel like I'm... <laughs> uh... Okay. I feel like we need to... <laughs> this build is so stupid. I, I think we'll have to compromise on some stuff here. But let's see what the right side here has. Because each tank of Mongols Fury increased... And this is the... Every time you do uh, a Mongols bite, it uh, ramps up. So you can basically have, uh, if you get up to 10%, kill command has a 10% chance. Or you can get maximum 10% chance to reset kill command. Kill command has two charges and deals. I want this one for sure. Vipers, Venom, Raptor Strike, and Mongols Bite, Apply, Serpent, Sting. Yes, we want that. Harpoon, yes, we need it for mobility. Kill command cause the target to bleed. Yes, we want that. We don't need that. This is the, you get focus if you do harpoon. Each damage over time effect on a target increase your critical strike damage and they, they recede from you. Ooh. Don't know yet, but this sounds promising. And then... Casting butchery makes your next raptor strike on Mongoose. <laughs> Yo, what is this? Casting butchery. So this one, if you do once, just one butchery, you can then use a raptor strike on Mongoose bite to hit three targets. Yo, this is gonna be huge. Kill shot critical strikes reset the cooldown of kill command. Sounds meh, I'm just gonna say it, because that's uh, basically only when people are low or I use kill, kill coordinated assault and I don't want to use that. Reapplying, oh, reapplying serpent sting to a target also spreads it up to two nearby enemies. But wait. Wait, wait, wait. There's a big... Yes, wait. <laughs> uh, because from what I understand, we don't have the three different bombs. So we only have this one. In a cone and coating enemies in wildfire, scorching them and this reduce damage. Deal 40%. Yes. So we kind of want... I'm not gonna go into spearhead, that's for a raid, if any. But then... <sighs> I want this one for sure, then we have 14 seconds on this one, as we have today. And Fury of the Eagles is too good to pass up, and I will use Ruthless Mar Marauder on both sides. That's, that's standard. Uh... 
when I'm conflicting, I have two more points. And as you see, I am building to not use this one. We will check it out though. Because now we I don't want this one. I maybe want this one or this one. And maybe this one. I don't know yet. But then kill coordinated assault is the same. Striking them, blah blah blah. You and your pet spawn this then strengthen, causing your pet's basic attacks to empower your next spell cast. Yes. But here it's different now because here we have Bombardier. While you cost coordinated assault, you gain two drops of wildfire bomb. That's the single target version. But then they've added when coordinated assault ends, explosive shot has its cooldown reduced by 100% and is and its focus cost reduced by 100 oh, Wait. 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 It's cooldown reduced by 100%, so no cooldown, and its focus cost reduced by 100% for 4 seconds. Does that mean we can spam just out some explosive shots? Maybe this is gonna be better than I thought. Hmm. And then we have symbiotic adrenaline the cooldown of coordinated assault is reduced by 6% wait so it's a 1 minute CD now or it can be and then you have relentless primal ferocity coordinated assault sends you and your pet into a state of primal power for the duration of coordinated assault kill command generates one additional stack of tip of the spear and you gain 10% haste and tip of the spear's damage bonus increased by 50%. Interesting. There's many good stuff here. I don't really know what I want to go. I think we'll do it like if I do this. Ah, yes, yeah, good. I'll do a coordinated assault one and I'll do um no CD one also. So we'll start with the no CD. And with two points left, I think it's very clear that we should use Outlaw Venom. Oh wait, uh, there was only one more I had. There's so much stuff I want. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't know if the spreading is gonna be a problem now since we're not root. Where where can I? I can apply it with raptor strike and mongoose bite. Apply. Note here, it applies. There's no chance. So you basically top top, and you have to. Yeah, because here we have a thirty percent chance to apply serpent sting. Here is just apply, so there's no percentage, it does just only apply it. Uh, I'm actually thinking that we don't need Mongoose Bite for the no CD one. Instead, we go reapplying. Yes, because then you can focus on your main target. And I think the 0.5% damage is too too little for us to use. So I'm gonna use this one. I think this is the no CD build. I, I could definitely be wrong. I don't think these two are worth it now. There's so many other good stuff. And it looks like kill command is super huge now, but uh, that's interesting. Uh, with that being said, let's go to the coordinated assault one as well. Where let's remove this one and then I don't want to bleed. But we want to get down here. I could remove one of the ruthless marauder one and get coordinated assault. But I'm thinking if we should remove, we don't want that. This one is too huge. I don't, this sounds good, but I think it's more worth to go a point. 
But the thing is then, if we're actually committing to coordinated assault, I think we should commit even more. So you should have this one. You gain two charges of welfare bomb, and when it ends, you have a lot of explosive shot. But then again, I also then want... Oh, yeah, wait, wait. Oh, oh, that's an interesting one. What should I remove one more? I don't know what to remove, literally. I think we need the bleed on kill command though. And we need this one. What do we play normal? Like, let me just see. If we go this build, what do we lose? We lose this one. We usually do it like this also. So we're not going down with like quick shot, but quick shot seems very buff now. Among us by it, we want the harpoon. I don't know. I don't know. Thundering at my place. I think I'll go away with the bleed. Since we're not going outlaw and outland venom, it's not really needed. Because I mean, if we check today, let's check a key. This was uh, uh, this was a this was Sarkar F, but still, what did the bleed do? Or do I have the bleed? Yes. Yes, bloodseeker is the word. It's not anywhere high at least, so... Why can't I see it? Ah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I think... <laughs> I think you want the symbiotic adrenaline for M+. So it's only a one, one minute CD. And then for raid, you want the relentless primal because then you get bonus on tip of the spear and haste and more damage on tip of the spear. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think this is my final, final two builds. So we have this one uh, with the coordinated assault. That's in a one minute cooldown. And we have the no city one, which is more into the right side yeah i believe so wow interesting i must say i'm very hopeful for survival next uh, tier or next expansion when i say the war within it seems like a lot of stuff will, uh, i mean we've seen it today a lot of stuff is changing and i think it's changing for the better and i would really love to hear your thoughts also. Like I've been ranting about this for half an hour now, but what did you think about the talents? Like, do you think I'm completely nuts doing this <laughs> build? Like the no city one, is the, this one the tier build or what should I change to get into the coordinated assault one? And also, I mean, do you have a single target build that you like? Like, I don't know, you tell me, I would love to hear in the comment and of course, Join me on the Discord and we can discuss it even further and uh, compare. I'm not going to try the beta now. 
uh, I this one is huge enough for me to cover, but uh, I think that I wanna be spoiled free until the expansion comes on the 26th of August. So I'm not gonna touch the beta at all. I don't wanna see the dungeons. I don't wanna see how it plays. Like I wanna try it raw when it comes out and have fun. That's what it's all about. And I hope you think so too. <laughs> but with that said, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope this was informative and also just, you know, getting a sense of um, how it's going to be played out in the next expansion. So if you liked it, be sure to subscribe. I will be posting a lot of more survival hunter content for sure when War Within comes. So thank you. Bye bye.